back, Pastor. Thank you. Thank how you. Was, how was camp? It was really good. Um, the kids were awesome. Um, I got to meet uh, Michael and Samantha's cousins. Ooh. They were kind of neat. It was fun to, to meet them and spend time with them, too. And uh, the weather was really good. Uh, I got to go canoeing, which was fun. Nice. Uh, the weather, I said, back to weather, um, you know, only a couple times did it really rain. Um, and one time it was really bad. Yeah. And uh, the staff thought that they might need to like relocate the kids into a different building, but oh. didn't get that bad. Uh, but it got really bad. And um, but other than that, it was uh, it was a fun time, and had a good time. And uh, hopefully, uh, they'll invite me back next year and um, be back next year. So we'll have to see. But um, enough about camp. We got things going on here at Redeemer that we need to tell these good people about because today is Friday. 411 day, yes. August 4th. And yes. did you know what happened Thursday, August 3rd? I bet you didn't know. Okay, and what? I, I bet you Billy didn't know either. Thursday, August 3rd, yesterday, was the 37th anniversary of my ordination. Oh! Yeah, now the actual day, of course, was the first Sunday of the month. Sure. But the number was the number August 3rd. Was so yeah, so. Uh, I now have begun my 38th year, well, into day one, yes. the 38th year of my of my ministry as a pastor. Oh, so wonderful. it's kind of cool. But we're not here about camp, we're not here about my ordination. Uh, we're here about Athalia. That's and right. Other things going on at Redeemer. That's right. So Athalia is our next biblical villain. Oh, indeed she is. Athalia. Who? Who is a good question. Now, you might not know her name, Athalia, mm -hmm. but you probably know her parents. I think so. Ever hear of Ahab and Jezebel? Oh, I think we have. Yeah. Jezebel, we actually looked at a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the nut doesn't fall far from the tree. True. Uh, I think the expression is the apple, but in this case, it's the nut, because mm -hmm. as we know, Jezebel was a little bit off center, and the daughter, Athaliah, wasn't far behind. Athaliah wipes out a whole whole family, and uh, she wanted that throne all herself, and uh, she got it in a very evil, uh, villainous way, and she ruled for about, I think it was six years that she ruled. Um, but she took right after mom, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll dive more into how she took after mom and what that means for our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, is there a little athalia inside of us? There is, unfortunately, because that's the law. You know, the mm -hmm. law condemns us, but uh, the good news is the gospel. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna dive all into that on Sunday morning. She sounds awful. Yeah, she was. No wonder 2 Chronicles twenty two twelve says that Joash was hidden in the house of God while Athaliah reigned over the land. If I was there, I would hide in the house too. Last week, we talked about how Little Steps Early Learning will be returning to classes soon. Mm -hmm. Well, the date that will start is August 14th. Mm -hmm. Summer is winding down and things will be changing in Little Steps. Should the name change? Yeah. Um, that was one we heard about a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, another change was Barb in the yep. kitchen. Yeah. The, and so there have been lots of changes in, in the daycare preschool. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this case, change is good. All, all these numerous changes going on next door, they've been really good. And Tammy has been awesome implementing these changes. I know some of the changes include uh, updating some of the staff uh, with some educational things that they'll put into the classrooms. And uh, Tammy's just doing a marvelous job over there uh, with all this. And uh, she's going to be ready. She'll be ready when those kids come back full yes. time and mm -hmm. and they're they're off and running which means I'll be back in the in the classrooms reading mm -hmm. come September I'll be with you know story time with PB and yep. then that's another change and uh, but um, all these changes but one thing that has not changed and what I try to get across to these kids is that Jesus loves them yes and and they are a child of God and that as soon as they come into these doors here that we love them that God loves them and that's the message we want to give to these kids uh, while they hear that they can take that that home. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, part of that, 
is important and we see that down the road. I was talking with Tammy this past week in my office and I don't know the whole story. I'll get more details in weeks to come, but she was sharing with me that there's a possibility this year that one of the students that's enrolled is a child of a former student. Whoa. And she thinks this is will be the first time that we've had a child of a former student. Unfortunately, we've been receiving reports that the phishing attempts using mm. pastor's name have started up again. There's some Yahoo out there <laughs> uh, trying to get your money mm. and information by using our relationship that I, that I have. But please don't fall for it. Um, I will never ask you for money via text. That would just not happen with me. Um, and as you know, I never or hardly ever call myself reverend. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's Pastor Carney. The uh, only time I use reverend is to sign legal documents and, and a check. Right. Uh, other than that, it's always pastor. So mm -hmm. That's one giveaway. So if a message doesn't come from my church address, 99% of the time it's not from me. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're unsure, pick up the phone and call me. Mm -hmm. My phone's on 24-7. Mm -hmm. So just call me and say, hey, did you send me a text about X, Y, Z, and I would say no, or yeah, I did. But uh, yeah, so please don't fall for it. Um, just be careful. Summer family picnic is tomorrow. Yeah. Cornhole tournament, baking competition, games for kids, and the swimming pool will be open. Mm -hmm. A lot for everyone. Please bring a dish to share, and lunch is at two. Yeah, I know I've been announcing in, in church, in mm -hmm. worship, that uh, the defending champs were, are coming back to defend their Ooh. championship. And one of them actually applauded on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. But somebody asked me after worship, who are the defending champs? And I knew Travis was one. I know last year, Sammy and I, uh, not that Sammy, but uh, <laughs> Sammy Curdo and I uh, went pretty far. Oh. And uh, unfortunately he needed to go home and we couldn't finish out. But uh, if Sammy's coming again, I think I'll team up with Sammy and we might give these people a run for their money. But it's, nice. gonna, be, it's gonna be fun. And no matter what your interests are. Uh, I know last year, uh, Billy um, was giving the brides uh, on the tractor around yes, his, his property and, and <laughs> off to his parents' property and, and through the, not the marsh area, but the big grass area in mm -hmm. between and, and that kind of thing. And the pool is open. And I remember Abby, uh, spent, I think, all day, and, and Lisa and Candy were trying to get her out of the pool. Um, <laughs> the slip and slide, either the baking contest, just everything for everybody. On Sunday morning, I said, if you've been here since 1940, or if you came <laughs> in the last 40 minutes, uh -huh. you're one of us. Yeah. So, uh, so come on down. You don't need to be an On The Books member. It's for anybody and everybody that has come through these doors. So come on down. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a great, great time. Uh, don't miss it. It's uh, 10 o'clock until Billy and Hallie say, go home. Yep. Yeah, we got worship in the morning. Go home. Uh -huh. yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, you're right. And if you need directions, I did send out a link. Okay. Um, yep. And we had directions in last week's bulletin. Mm -hmm. But if you miss those, please contact me here at the church and I can yeah. help you out. And yeah. one more thing to bring up is that you are moving to a new Sunday morning Bible study. Yeah. That you will be diving into some parables. Yeah, yeah. We're going to finish up. We have two more topics to talk about with the how to worship how and why we worship. Mm -hmm. We're doing the Nook Diminis and then the Benediction, mm -hmm. which only take us a few moments. Okay. And then we're gonna switch gears. I mean, switch gears big mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. because we are deep diving uh, into parables. And what that means is that I'm taking three parables and we're gonna deep dive and mm -hmm. we're gonna go almost verse by verse, mm -hmm. not so much word by word, but verse by verse mm -hmm. and uh, look at what it means. And I'm using three parables that uh, I have not preached at, or taught on in, in these 37 uh, plus wow, years. Wow, that's cool. Um, and a lot of pastors don't. They, they I don't wanna say avoid them, uh, but they're not the, the top three, top five. And we're gonna deep dive and just see what Jesus is talking about mm -hmm. and how it applies to our lives. So um, I'm, I'm getting into it. 
Um, actually, as you know, I rewrote it. Yes. Uh, I rewrote all of, it. <laughs> all of it. Yeah, I spent what two days. Yeah. And and rewrote it because I wasn't happy with the way it came out the yep. first time, and so I rewrote it. And the, the second one is new and approved, and yep. so uh, looking forward to it this Sunday. After Nuke did Minutes Benediction, mm -hmm. we flip the script and go into parables. The youth group okay. will be meeting on Monday at 6.30, which is a change because they've been meeting on Thursdays. And the church council will be skipping the August meeting just like we did last year. That's right. And the Middle Cross will be practicing on Thursday at 5.30. I have a question be, before we go ahead. May I go backwards a second to the church sure. council? Sure. There is no church council meeting, uh -huh. but do you still want yes. reports yes, from please. us? Yes, please. Please send those reports in. Okay. So you put the reports online. If the, okay. Mm -hmm. sure so, yeah. Do. So going backwards a second, mm -hmm. no meeting. But if you have a report, get it done and still send it to Heather, mm -hmm. which means me too. Mm -hmm. Send it to Heather to get it online. Yep. I, one future note on September 18th yep. is the uh, Right to Life Banquet mm -hmm. that we have gone to for a number of years now. Mm -hmm. uh, the church uh, sponsors the table. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be at the MOCC mm -hmm. uh, on Grace Campus. And we have eight dinner tickets mm -hmm. available at no cost. Again, the church is sponsoring the table, so the tickets are free, uh, no cost. If you want to attend, please let Krista Plu know, and she will get you signed up and a ticket uh, to you. And if you need more information on that, uh, Krista Plu has all the uh -huh. information uh, on that. I've attended the last two, and they've been awesome. I'm still thinking about Athalia, and I know there are a lot of people in this world trapped by those that are like her. Let's say a prayer for God's guidance for them. Sure, I can uh, definitely do that because there are a lot of uh, lot of people in this world um, who um, who are like Athalia, and I think we all are at some point. Mm -hmm. um, just like we've seen all the villains, that there's a little bit of each other's villains inside of us, and that's why we are sinful human beings. And we need the gospel, we need the good news that we are forgiven. So for those people who are so struggling with those villains that are popping up in their lives. So let's, let's, let's uh, keep them in prayer. Father, just, we just come to you today and we first thank you for today. We thank you for the, the beauty of this day, the blessings of this day and all your goodness to us. Um, and especially we thank you for Jesus uh, in our lives. And we just thank you, Jesus, for loving us and for dying for us and loving us so much that you forgive us when we come to you on our knees asking for forgiveness. And as we've seen in our, in our ser summer series the villains, that uh, there's a little bit of all these villains inside of us. And uh, unfortunately, in today's world, in today's society, God, there are a lot of these villains inside of a number of people. And Father, we just pray that thy will be done, that you will touch the hearts and lives uh, of people today, and they will recognize the sin that is going on in their lives, in their thoughts, in their words, in their actions, and that they come to you on repentant knees and ask for your forgiveness and ask for the Spirit to help them change and amend their sinful ways. And so, Father, we just lay that before you, that you move hearts and change lives. We ask this all in Jesus' dear name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. You're so welcome, and thank you guys for watching, and may God bless you, and we pray that we hear from you guys soon. Yes, thank you for joining us today. We pray that you will also join us for worship. Please like and share this video, and check out some of the other content on our channel. Like and subscribe to our channel, and make sure you click on that notification button so you are notified when we have any new content. If you would like to know anything about Redeemer, please contact me in the church office at churchoffice at RedeemerWarsaw.org or you may contact Pastor, Phil, or Billy with the addresses listed on the screen. Visit us online at RedeemerWarsaw.org or on Facebook at Redeemer Warsaw. Thank you for watching and until next time, may the Lord be with your spirit and grace be with you.